everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We are still here in Boulder City and behind me you can see the Great Khans leaving this place since we negotiated a deal with them and apparently the NCR is sticking with the deal so that's good. But yeah, we finally finished our first real main mission, um, not counting the tutorial missions. And we did get a new one as well. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding. confront Benny at the Tops Casino, which is over here in what I presume is New Vegas. So I think what I'm going to do is I will look around this place a little bit and make sure there's nothing else of interest around here. And then I'm just going to head further north towards uh, New Vegas and see what we will find on our way, right? And I may actually want to go back into the ruins too to see if there's anything in here that is of interest to me. I don't think there is because most of it is just completely destroyed. These NCR fellows are still around. I may want to have another look at the building where I forgot his name, the guy that I negotiated with was... Yep, they are gone now. But maybe they left behind some useful stuff. Well, I'll take this. These are all empty. But, um, I mean, the cigarettes can usually sell. And this is apparently stealing, and this is not. Why? <laughs> but I think I'm going to take it anyway, because I always like that kind of ammo. <laughs> and I think I can afford a few hits in my karma. Yeah, this guy is quite obviously dead. <laughs> um, but I may actually want to take his bandana as a souvenir for uh, Boulder City. I don't know. Might be... Oh no, I didn't I didn't want to take his um, uh, yeah, outfit. But I guess um, I accidentally took all. Oh well, I can just sell it later. And yeah, maybe I'm actually going to sleep because it's getting night outside, so... Let's remedy that. Fancy meeting you here, friend! Whoa! What the hell? You just woke me up. I was just trying to sleep. You are very creepy, Victor. How did you get here? It's good to see you again. I don't like being followed, robot. Yeah, he is quite obviously following me. He's not just going to New Vegas. He's going after me for whatever reason. But maybe I'm not going to tell him that I don't want him to get suspicious or I don't want him to know that I'm suspicious. I don't know. It's good to see you again, Victor. Really. It's totally not creepy that you came in here while I was trying to sleep and you woke me up. Yep. Yeah, this is getting mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. Yeah. <laughs> So, how did you get here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Well, you probably will, because that's where I'm headed. You see what happened in there? In where? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. <laughs> if you say so. So, have you seen Benny by any chance? Fancy pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Okay, well, I guess that might be true. Anyway, um, I guess we are going to part ways again, although I'm pretty sure we will see him again sooner or later. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. Okay, I may want to take you up on that. What do you think about this boon? It's very suspicious, is it not? Also, I don't think I'm actually um, rested. It's still um, in the middle of the night. Yeah, let's 
sleep for a few more hours and let's hope we don't get interrupted again. Alright, so, um, I guess we're good to go now. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of value in this place anymore. And I have already looked at most of these buildings in the last episode. So, um, I guess we're just going to leave again and head further north towards New Vegas. Oh, is any of these buildings uh, worthwhile to visit? I've been inside that one. It had the hollow recording or whatever that was. What about the big building over here? Um, it doesn't seem to have a door. <laughs> At least none that I can use. Okay, and there's no door whatsoever on this side. Been to the saloon. <laughs> this guy is still standing here staring at the memorial. And again, this building is closed. Okay, well, um, I just may wanna uh, continue. Oh, well, we actually have all the names on the back side. I wonder if these names mean anything. Maybe they're like names from people who made the game. I think this is a nice place where you can immortalize your own name, right? Uh, we still have some buildings over here that I may want to check out. And I guess the crow over here is the NPC I'm seeing. Alright, let's have a look. This may actually be something I can check out. Uh, train station. Oh, I'm seeing an enemy on my compass. I think it's the scorpion over here. There we go. Is it just this one scorpion? Apparently so. All right, so um, now that we dealt with this little problem, let's see what else we got inside here. Can I guess I'll take that one bottle cap. Um, and this is just back out again. So is this something I can open locked hard? But I can probably use a terminal, right? Uh, let's see. So do I have to do the word puzzle? I didn't have to do one of these in quite some time. Most of the terminals that I found were just open for business. Yep, I have to do a word puzzle. Um, four attempts. Let's see. Um, we have a few that end in ED. We have some that end in ing. I don't know, let's start with a random word. Just one correct. Well, um, that's quite a feat to pick a word that only has one correct letter. Um, so, which letter is it? Is it maybe the I at the beginning? Internal. No, this would have two proper letters. This would have two. This would have two. Um, there aren't really that many le uh, words that only have one letter in common with this one. Um, I guess this could be it. Settling. It has a T in common. Um, yeah, let's try it. Okay, there we go. So, what does this do? 
Disengage lock. Oh, this is for the safe. Okay, um... So is the safe open now? Oh yeah, it is. Um, well... I take it. Single shotgun. Uh, sure. Why not? I don't need the tire iron. And yeah, um, that seems to be pretty much it. In that case, let's just leave again. So, what are the buildings over here? Oh, I'm guessing it's the concrete factory. But it doesn't look like there's anything I can do here. The toolbox, but that seems to be about it. Right, well, in that case, let's just head back to the road and onwards towards <laughs> New Vegas. And the NPCs, well, I guess one of them is the soldier. Okay, so this should be the road north, yes, eventually anyway. And this is just some wildlife. I don't think I need to eliminate them. They can just go about their business. Also, look at all these destroyed power lines. How do they get the electricity from Hoover Dam to New Vegas? Not with these power lines, they don't. So, New Vegas must get the electricity somewhere else. Assuming they have electricity. Anyway, we have some thing over here. I'm seeing an NCR flag and I'm seeing friendly people. So, let's see. What do we got here? 188 trading post. Okay, a trading post. That is probably useful. Michelle, let's talk. Uh, welcome to the 188 slop and shop. How can I help you? Well, let's see. Um, who are you? Name's Michelle. My dad may run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. Well, Prim is doing a lot better now. They even have a new sheriff. You should check it out. Maybe you heard already because apparently everyone has heard about it. But yeah, why did you settle exactly here? There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time. And 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers. So long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. Hmm. Yeah, um, I've heard about the Legion raids and I've seen one of them firsthand in Nipton. Um, so what do you know about the Legion raids? Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. Hmm. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. Well, Novak was fine last time I visited. I hope this hasn't changed in the meantime. But I do think they mentioned Nelson being overrun by the Legion. So why do they call this place um, the 188? You do know these old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet. And 95 plus 93 equals 188. Okay, I see. Very clever. Um, but sure, show me your wares. Have a look. Um, so first of all, do I want to sell anything? Um, I mean, I could sell that great Khan suit. Then again, I may want to keep it. If I ever need a great Khan disguise, I can use this. So honestly, I don't think I have a whole lot that I want to sell at the moment. Um, no, I think I'm going to keep all of this. Well, I can sell you the cigarettes. So, what do you have? Um, 10 millimeter pistol, single shotgun, 
some food that I don't need. Do I need a doctor's bag? I don't think so. So, yeah, I don't think I need any of your stuff. When you're for a trading post, you don't really have that much, I'm afraid. But anyway, Thanks. I'll take it. And that should be it. Later. Later indeed, Michelle. So, what else do we got here? Oh, this guy is sleeping. Samuel, um, do we want to wake him? Let's wake him up. Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. <laughs> That's quite the slogan. Um, I need something repaired. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Who exactly are you? Samuel Kerr at your service. Me and my daughter Michelle run this fine establishment. Oh, I see. We came here from Prim about a month past. Doesn't look like <laughs> much, but it's one hell of a location. So I heard. Um, so why did you leave Prim? I mean, she told me, but let's ask it anyway. Michelle and I ran a little shop in Prim till the prison break north of town spoiled it for everyone. Goddamn convicts just about shut down I-15. When traffic dried up, we took to our heels to find us some customers. I'm not one to sit around waiting to get saved, and Michelle ain't neither. Well, I can respect that, but you really should check out Prim again. It's a great place now with a great new sheriff. Really, you should have a look. Um, and yeah, business is good here. When 15 shut down, 95 became the route NCR citizens used to get to the Strip, or limp back home. After the strips drained them of caps, we get them coming and going. Coming, the suckers flush with caps they saved to gamble on the strip. And going, the same folks. But now they're losers who will trade you the shirt off their backs so they don't starve before they make it back home. Add in the troopers marching back and forth from McCarran and the dam, and well, let's just say we don't miss Prim. Okay, apparently you made a good life for yourself here. Uh, sure, show me your wares, if they are different than hers. Um, they are, but he's just selling uh, beverages, which I don't need. Yeah, um, no thanks. Do I need anything repaired? Let me see what I can do. Um, I mean... A lot of my stuff could use some repair, for example, the leather armor that I'm wearing. <laughs> but is it really worth it? I mean, I may just find another one and I can fix it myself. So... I think for the time being I'm fine and I don't need anything repaired. So, goodbye. Come back soon now. We'll see about that. Morning. Okay, we talked to these two fellas. Uh, what about this lady, Veronica? No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd <laughs> you come from? That's a very good question. I don't actually know. God springs the grave. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> None of your business. Yeah, I am not sure because we don't really know any of her backstory. I don't know if there is like a canon backstory for the courier. Or if you're just, you know, supposed to make it up for yourself. Um, but I do like this option, the grave, because it sounds mysterious and ominous and badass, right? So let's pick this option. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given so, the circumstances. I would say well, so. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Why? Why do you live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think okay. it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Okay, so um, your family is still in the bunker. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, <laughs> know what I mean? And okay. actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen... Can I ask you something on the level? Um, sure? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? I have heard the name, but I know virtually nothing about them. 
Intelligence 6. They are usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. Why would this be an issue? <laughs> I mean, I can think of two possibilities here. Either they hate advanced technology and they will, like, attack you for using it, or they really love advanced technology and they will attack you to take it off of you and use it themselves. It's one of those, probably. They're enemies of the NCR. If you know where they are, you should turn them in. They've got the right idea, but I have no idea what that idea is, so um, can't really pick that option. I know who they are, but I don't care about their gender. Again, I have no idea about their gender. Yeah, I know to shoot them on sight. Well, since I have the intelligence to use this option, um, let's pick it. I wish I had the same intelligence as Hera, because I had no idea about this. So, let's pick this option. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so, where are you headed, anyway? New Vegas, eventually. Um, the strip Hoover Dam, going to see an old friend. Sort of. I go where I'm needed. I just kind of drift from place to place. That's not entirely wrong. What's it to you? Well, I don't know. I guess I will eventually go to the strip. Ooh, very exciting. <laughs> Gonna strike it rich, huh? Maybe. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like she can really handle herself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. <laughs> help each other out. So you're just asking me if you can accompany me? Yes, I guess. You don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Where are you hoping to go? Don't you have a family to feed? I'd like to, but I can't take you with me right now. Not interested. Um, so where exactly do you want to go anyway? Oh, well, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can mm. learn from. Okay, that makes sense. But uh, what about your family? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Okay. Uh, well, I don't really have the option to take her along. Um, you don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? She doesn't look like much, but, you know, maybe she has some hidden talents. Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Yeah. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Okay. Well, I kind of would like to take her along, but I don't have the option to. So I guess I have to turn her down. Sorry. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. I'm sorry. But, okay, my offer stands. If we run into each other again. You can only have one follower at a time. Oh, so that's why I can't take her along, because I already have a follower. Well, two, technically. Unless Eddie doesn't count as a follower. So if I wanted to take Veronica along, I would have to hey. send Boone back home, right? Hmm. Do I want to do this? I mean, I just got Boone like a few episodes ago and I feel I haven't really done much with him. So maybe I'm going to keep him for now. And I mean, she said, you know, I can, you know, take that offer later. So I hope I can just come back at some point and uh, recruit her instead of Boone. But yeah, I don't know. I think for the time being, I'm going to keep Boone because um, he hasn't really been in my company for that long. So I'm sorry, Veronica, but I will come back at some point and then we can and then we can travel together. Sure, why not? Anyway, man, I love my guns. <laughs> Who's talking? Someone who really loves his guns. I'm not seeing anyone talking. Might have been this guy over here. Hey. NCR Trooper. It's just an empty tent. Um, this is probably just another NCR Troop. No, it's an arms merchant. Well, um, 
Let me see what you have got. You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. I'm not. Something like that. Are you an NCR soldier? You do a lot of business with prospectors. So are you an NCR soldier? Hell yes, ma'am. Well, not officially. <laughs> not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. Okay. What does that mean? It means my CO was an asshole and I told him to eat shit. He ordered me to flog a couple deserters. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. I see. Well, I can, I can understand that. And how did you end up selling weapons? Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river, sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CEO is treating them right, and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway, I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. The new kids don't even get body hmm. armor, can you believe that? Well, I can. It's probably uh, in short supply in these days, huh? So the NCR doesn't have the caps to outfit their troops, is that what you're saying? Vegas is bleeding us dry. We're tossing caps at a hundred different problems, while Caesar bides his time and lets us wear ourselves out. Mm -hmm. This war is gonna bankrupt the NCR, unless we finish off the Legion fast and dirty. We shouldn't be perched up at the dam. We ought to be crossing the Colorado and sticking a boot up Caesar's ass. Yeah, I'm hearing that a lot, that the NCR is stretching thin and that they might be in over their heads here. But okay, uh, show me what you have for sale. Sure, no problem. I'm guessing you have a lot of weapons. Well, some anyway. I mean, this over here is a nice one. Do I have any ammo for this? Well, some. But again, I'm not sure if I really want to buy any weapons at the time being. You usually find quite a few of them, so... Maybe later. And these are some mods. Pistol extended max. Increases ammunition capacity by four. Silencer. Increases condition. Rifle forge receiver increases condition. Hmm. Yeah, I think I don't really need any of that. And I'm not sure if I need the ammo. I mean, maybe I want to get more grenades for my really strong weapon. <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure what kind of grenades I need for that. Okay, the mercenary's grenade rifle uses four MMG. So basically this one, right? Let's just take all of it. Why not? Okay, well, thank you for your business. Now, um, don't think there's anything else around here. Maybe on the lower part of the intersection. I do see some people down here, so... Hello. Let's have a look at that before we move on. I mean, they are probably just more... NCR soldiers. I mean, these people over here don't look like... And see our soldiers. Ezekiel, who are you? Keep an eye out for trouble. I don't know, he has a name, but he has not much to say. So what about these guys? Alexander? Is there some reason I should be talking to you? No, other than maybe you're bored and uh, you want to have some friendly conversation? A gun runner? What is a gun runner? Like you have a clue what that even means. I have... I don't. That's why I'm asking. 
Tell me about the gun runners. The gun runners have been putting rapid fire death dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. Okay, so you work for the NCR. And what exactly do you do? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. But lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. <laughs> Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. So, you're kind of the suppliers of the NCR. Tell me about Gunrunner Caravans, sure. Not much to tell. A Brahmin or two loaded up with weapons and a whole mess of well-armed guards to make sure it ends up where it's supposed to. One nifty bit, though. The gun cases are rigged to explode, <laughs> so trying to loot one of our caravans doesn't do much good. And that's how the NCR stays equipped. The only thing we don't bring in is energy weapons. Why not? What's wrong with energy weapons? We used to, but every caravan carrying them was getting ambushed and wiped out by someone sophisticated enough to know which was which. We think it was the Brotherhood of Steel. Those crazies always go hard for energy uh. weapons. But the NCR would rather pretend they killed all of them. So if the Brotherhood of Steel is uh, attacking caravans for the, for the energy weapons, I suppose they really like advanced technology and they want to steal it. Okay. I don't like your attitude. Honestly, I don't care about your attitude. I mean, I have met ruder people in the wastelands before, so just show me what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. Boo! <laughs> um, well, I could convince him, but only if I have more gun skills. So where can I buy some weapons? Well, there's the arms merchant up on the bridge. So I think I come back later once I have more gun skills and then maybe we can make a deal. Bye. T bye indeed. First um, Recon is a top-notch unit. They're always buying sniper rifles from us. That iBot looks like it's gone through hell. <laughs> it's interesting. They actually make some comments about my companions. But look, I have this, you know, first Recon soldier with me. He's like, um, almost NCR. Are you not going to sell anything to him, maybe? I feel that should help me out somehow. We're just muscle. Alexander's the man to talk to. I, I already talked to him and didn't really get anywhere there. But still, um, nice chatting to you, I suppose. Yes, that is all that I can do here, it looks like. Oh, hang on a second, there is someone hey, here. Anything going on? The forecaster, who are you? Also, this is like the first sort of child that I'm seeing. Hello, ma'am. I hope you're doing fine today. What are you wearing on your head? Where are your parents, kid? Why are you here all alone? Yes, that's a good question. I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. Okay, well, um, that's a sad story, but I can't ask any more about it, so just show me what you have for sale. Oh, I don't sell things, ma'am. I sell thoughts. You sell thoughts. And what about all the junk behind you? <laughs> but okay, I buy it. Tell me what exactly you mean by that. I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. I have no idea what you're talking about. What is your medicine and how do you take it off? Is it your weird headgear? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Okay. You really think, I mean. Um, that sounds very interesting. I might be interested in buying your headache medicine. How much? Well, he needs it, right? So, not sure if he's going to sell it. And what about the junk? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. 
People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. <laughs> I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. You are very weird, but I would be willing to pay a hundred caps to hear your thoughts. Great. What do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. What do you want? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, do you thinking about me? Do you thinking about everywhere? Do you thinking about here? Um, well, I guess me would be the most interesting one. I have no idea. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull. Yet one gets up. Odds are against you. But they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt. But you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack. And a gamble. A gamble that may pay off. But how? Forecast? Rapidly changing <laughs> conditions. A lot of thinking. Most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. Well, I mean, some of that was actually kind of accurate. I think he was talking about the bullet that I got to the face. So how do you know all of this? Oh, I don't know anything, ma'am. I just think it. And then I don't. So you are actually a forecaster. Well, that is very interesting. Now, I have to admit, I am very curious to hear his other thoughts as well. And I think I can spare another 200 caps, so let's do it. Sure, I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? Um, think about everywhere. Let me take off my medicine. Bull and bear over the dam, at each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Ball spinning on the wheel, more than two at the table. Placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns of corpses. Scattered across the sand. But whose? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast? A rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. Well, that prediction is very ominous. I'm guessing the bull and the bear are the NCR and Caesar's Legion. Um, but sure, let me do this one more time. Sure, I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? Think about here. I need to take off my medicine. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down. Washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl. Smiling sad. Brown robe. Name Veronica. Half here. Wraps her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack. A key, some say. Forecast. Cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch. Thinking small only hurts a little. But it's a sharp pain. Okay, well, I think uh, we've done enough thinking for now. So, he has mentioning Veronica. Again, I will uh, come back and... Uh, recruit her at some point because she might be more significant so any more thoughts sorry ma'am all that thinking has made my head hurt i don't think i'll be doing any thinking for a long time <laughs> okay well fair enough let me have a look at your junk what's in the suitcase dirty pre-war casual wear i don't really need that can i talk to you again though i thought i'd be seeing you again so, would you sell your headache medicine? Thinking hurts you too? <laughs> Aw, I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. Okay, fair enough. Bye! I didn't expect him to actually sell his head medicine. <laughs> anyway, that was very interesting. I'm not sure if it's really useful because most of it was so vague. But interesting, nevertheless. Now, um, I guess I'm actually done here now. I got another traveling merchant over here. Howdy. Hey there. Need anything? I guess it always pays off to sure. Here's have what a look I've got. at their wares. Um. 
Okay, she has some plasma weapons. Wasteland settler outfit. Perfect water. Well, I'm always looking for magazines and stuff like that. Also, I think I never realized that mentats have such interesting effects. I may actually want to <laughs> collect some mentats. They make you more intelligent. I mean, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I'll take it. I, I know they also, you know, lie around every now and then, but to be honest, I've not been paying much attention to them. <laughs> There's just so much stuff lying around and a lot of it is just useless. It's kind of hard to, you know, figure out what you need. And on like every second video I get some comments, oh, why didn't you take this or why didn't you take that? Because I have no idea, guys. It's a blind let's play. I'm playing this for the first time, so I still have to figure out what I want to uh, take with me. And I also don't want to spend like 10 minutes in the inventory just looking at all the stuff that I may or may not want. So if I leave behind some stuff that you consider to be super useful or valuable, cut me some slack, right? Anyway, um, let's move on further to the north. Seeing some interesting buildings over here. I'm guessing that might already be New Vegas. And the buildings over here are the Repcon headquarters. I mean, I may want to have a quick look at them. Maybe I will not spend too much time exploring them, but at least checking them out for a few minutes is probably not a bad idea. No, this over here is not actually a building I can enter. Nope, it's not. Um, there's definitely some movement over here. Looking friendly on the compass. Okay, all of these buildings are closed. So, let's check this out. Repcon headquarters. Yeah, I mean, it might not be a bad idea to just go here and discover it, because then I can fast travel back here whenever I want. So these are robots of some kind. They're not hostile, so... Can I talk to them? How may I serve you, mistress? Well, they are very polite. Mistress. <gasps> Maintenance robot. Okay, can enter here, presumably. Got more robots. Um, sure, let's uh, have a look at this facility. Okay. What is going on here? Fiend corpse? What is a fiend? Um, I mean, they look mostly human and they have some pretty impressive headgear. Um, fiend helmet. Raider Blastmaster armor. <laughs> I kind of want to try the helmet just because it looks cool. And I guess I will... Taking this... No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to... Search the fiend. So, let me check out that helmet. Um, how does it look like? <laughs> I kind of like it. But I think it doesn't really have any... Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Good stats. Oh, are the robots talking? You kind of scared me a little bit. I mean, it has one persuasion, but um, I do like the critical chance, so... I'm going to keep this, I suppose. Terminal average. Average. I mean, I can probably open the terminal. 
And, yeah, I don't know. This seems to be a pretty extensive place. Yeah, look at this. So I'm not sure if I really want to explore all of this How at the moment. I serve you, mistress? A tour guide. So... Welcome to Repcon headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. <laughs> a museum tour? What can you tell me about Repcon? I'd like a tour of the museum. Yeah, maybe I would like to uh, make a tour of the museum before I leave. However, I think I'm not going to do it in this episode. Uh, instead, let's just leave for now. Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas. Of course, I always stay out of restricted uh, zones. What are you thinking about me? <laughs> And what happened to these guys? Who actually killed them? Um, but How yeah, I think, um, you, I'm going to um, end the episode here. And maybe I will actually take him up on that offer and make a tour of the museum while I'm here. But I'm not sure if I really want to explore this place in great detail. Because like I said, at some point, I want to go to New Vegas and finally reach that place. But yeah, I think um, for now, we are going to call it a day. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.